favorite new kid? John. <laughs> yes. He's cute and he's wicked sweet and he's wicked shy. They're on our level, you know. They're like for us, and we should appreciate it, you know, because they yeah, say no to drugs and that's oh, that clean cut image. I like that. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. The multi-million dollar New Kids juggernaut rolled into CPAC. New town, same story. Sold out house, full of excited kids. What are you going to do tonight when you see the show? Party, I guess. Kids who buy lots of New Kids stuff. So who bought all those cool clothes for you? Uh, my mom and the East Bunny got me this, but I got more to be the front town. What does it cost to keep your kid in New Kids merchandise? Working part-time. <laughs> the key to the success of New Kids on the Block is not just their obvious appeal to the kids. This band appeals to parents who want to be able to take their kids to a show that's wholesome enough for an eight-year-old. But wholesome is not enough. CPAC had too few turnstiles open in one area to let the crowd in. Didn't have enough personnel on hand to let people know another gate was open. So the show had already started and more than a thousand people were still outside, including one little girl who was overwhelmed enough to require a visit to MedQ. And it's your responsibility to move those people through there. It's an entirely inefficient operation. I live in Soho. I will never come back here again. CPAC management insists they did all they could to control the crowd and said nothing would be handled differently at the next show. In Old Orchard Beach, Noel Nordquist, News Center.